The most important and widespread building type in ancient Greece was the temple. The first stone temples appeared sometime during the early 6th century BC and began to appear in large numbers in the next century. The purpose of a Greek temple was usually to house a cult statue or emblem. Religion did not require people to gather inside the temple to worship, their temples were primarily monuments to the gods. In this video, we explore the most famous Greek temples. We've collected a list of the top Helen attractions, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number 1, Parthenon. The Parthenon on top of the Acropolis is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Greece, and a visit to Athens is not complete without visiting this temple. The Parthenon's construction started in 447 BC, replacing an older temple that was destroyed by the Persians and completed in 432 BC. The purpose of the Parthenon was to house a massive statue of Athena Parthenos made from ivory, silver and gold. Number 2, Valley of the Temples. Located on a ridge outside the city of Agrigento, Sicily, lie the remains of seven Greek temples called the Valley of the Temples. The Temple of Concordia, built in the 5th century BC, is the best preserved in the valley and is one of the largest and best preserved Doric-style temples still standing. The Doric columns are 7 meters, 22 feet, high, including the capitals and have a diameter of 1.3 meters, 4.5 feet, at the base. Other temples include the Temple of Juno for celebrating weddings and the Temple of Heracles. Number 3, Temple of Hephaestus. Located about 500 meters northwest of the famous Acropolis, the Temple of Hephaestus is the best preserved Greek temple in the world, although it is far less known than its illustrious neighbor. The temple was built in the 5th century BC in a district which contained many foundries and metalwork shops. It was therefore dedicated to Hephaestos, the god of metalworking. The Temple of Hephaestus was designed by Actinus, one of the architects who also worked on the Parthenon. Number 4, Pistum. Pistum is an ancient Greco-Roman city in southern Italy near the beach. The side boasts three well-preserved Greek temples. The oldest temple in Pistum is the Temple of Hera, built around 550 BC by Greek colonists. The nearby temple was built about a century later and dedicated to Hera, the goddess of marriage and childbirth. Further away stand the Temple of Athena, built in about 500 BC. Number 5, Doric Temple of Segesta. Located in the northwestern part of Sicily, Segesta was one of the major cities of the Elimian people, one of the three indigenous peoples of Sicily. The population of Segesta was mixed with Elimian and Greek, though the Elimians soon Hellenized and took on external characteristics of Greek life. The Doric temple that lies just outside the ancient site is well preserved. It was built in the late 5th century BC and has 6 by 14 Doric columns. Several things suggest that the temple was never actually finished. Number 6, Temple of Apollo Epicurus. Located on a remote mountainside in the Peloponnese, the Temple of Apollo Epicurus at Bassi is a well-preserved and unusual Greek temple. It was built somewhere between 450 and 400 BC. Unlike most Greek temples, which are aligned east-west, the temple is aligned north-south. The temple is unusual because it has examples of all three classical orders used in ancient Greek architecture. Doric columns form the peristyle, Ionic columns support the porch, and Corinthian columns feature in the interior. Number 7, Erechtheum. The Erechtheum is an ancient Greek temple of Ionic style on the north side of the Acropolis of Athens. The temple, as seen today, was built between 421 and 407 BC. 
The name, of popular origin, is derived from a shrine dedicated to the Greek hero Erichthonius. The temple is most famous for its distinctive porch supported by six female figures, the Caryatids. Number 8. Temple of Zeus at Cyrene Cyrene was the most important of the five Greek colonies in present-day Libya. High up from the rest of the city lies the Temple of Zeus, dating back to the 5th century BC. It was destroyed during a Jewish rebellion in 115 AD and was restored five years later by the Romans on the order of Emperor Hadrian. In 365 AD, an earthquake reduced the temple to rubble once more, and it was not rebuilt until modern times by British and Italian archaeologists. Number 9. Temple of Poseidon at Saunyanv Located at the southernmost tip of the Attica Peninsula in Greece, the Temple of Poseidon at Saunion is surrounded on three sides by the sea. It was constructed in approximate 440 BC, over the ruins of a temple dating from the Archaic period. Only some columns of the Temple of Poseidon stand today. Still, intact, it would have closely resembled the Temple of Hephaestus beneath the Acropolis, which the same architect may have designed. At last in the list, number 10, Temple of Olympian Zeus. Though only a few columns remain of the Temple of Olympia Zeus in Athens, it does not take much imagination to realize that this was one gigantic temple. Construction began in the 6th century BC during the rule of the Athenian tyrants, who envisaged building the most significant temple in the ancient world. Still, it was not completed until the reign of the Roman Emperor Hadrian in the 2nd century AD, some 638 years after the project had begun. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite most famous Greek temples. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.